boys and girls it's been a while since i made a video i've been very very busy um, on my off days doing doing these uh, home repair jobs uh, but today i am going to put some cable railings in for a he's a, a pr previous or a customer of mine but he's actually a, a realtor that I've, I've done other jobs for but this is going to be on his personal home his deck um got about 900 feet of cable railings to put in and the reason it's so many is because it's about 10 rows you know so whatever that is 900 divided by 10 so it must be 90 feet um gonna put some top rails up you know out of deck boards and two by fours and then run some cable railings down below that um, horizontally i've um, never done that before ordered my parts through amazon um um, I can't remember what the price was. It was like $1,100 just in the material. But I went to a one fencing place and they were going to charge me $5,000. So anyway, that's stainless steel um, material that I'm going to be using. It's got a turnbuckle in there that will uh, you can tighten up the, the cable. It's an eighth inch uh, ca actual cable with all the uh, with all the fittings. And I'll, I'll do my best to show what all I'm using. And, and how I'm doing it but you know again every now and then somebody will mention you know they wish I would have you know kind of did the whole how-to video and unfortunately I just don't have time to do that I'm doing this with my telephone so you know the battery would die and I'm just not set up to do how-to videos you know I guess like classically they're done just you know step by step and all this editing and stuff like that I'm just I'll just kind of show you as I go along but I am happy to answer any questions in the comments you know any troubles I run into and, and when I get done today maybe driving home I'll talk about you know anything I had trouble with because I'm sure it's not gonna go you know there's always something that comes up um, so anyway that's the, that's it I'm also I've done I've been doing some other jobs this week today's Thursday I've been doing some other jobs every single day, but Monday, a lady asked me for a, a she called it a, a crown molding shelf. She wanted it in her daughter's room. It was about it was it was 12 foot long across the um, across the wall, and you'll see I'll throw the video up at the end of this video today. But it was a it's a 12 foot um, it was a one by four screwed to the wall and then on top of that like a ledge was a one by six screwed down into the one by four and then a piece of crown molding you know kind of kind of below that to kind of finish it out and then i painted it all it was like a cream color that matched the rest of the house i um, mean it man it turned out jam up i was i really wasn't sure how it was gonna uh, turn out but she loved it her husband loved it her daughter loved it so that means i loved it so that turned out really good work and it really only took me about two hours so anyway i'll throw that video up at the end of this video about the um cable railings but um i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and dog it off right now and i'll i'll check back in as we as we move along today all right so here's the deck it's already got the old rails removed just got to go around all the way Got my two by fours out. I'm gonna run my two by fours from here to here, flush with the top, and then put deck boards on top of that. I'm gonna use my Craig jig to put my angled screws in to lock it into the sides, give it a good tight connection. All right, we got all the handrails up, two by fours, deck boards. Stop and eat a bite to eat. I'm gonna start putting the cables in. Not a whole lot to see here. That took us about two and a half hours, something like that. Um, Are we gonna drill 45 degree? I mean, no. Oh, so this is what's gonna be on each end. This is gonna be in a post. This little pin pulls out. That'll go in there. Then the cable just sticks in that. This is a turnbuckle. And the cable run all the way to this. Well, like this. Cable sticks into that. That pin pulls out. And that goes in there. So it'll be like that. With cable in between. It's all our stuff. 
All right, got as much done as we could today. I'm gonna walk away from that air conditioning unit. Got those pieces in right there. Holes are drilled through the pot or pot post. Then you got these pieces here. Got ready to stick it in there. The way I understood it, the cable would just stick right in here and lock, wouldn't come out, but that has to be crimped. And I don't have that tool. We tried with a pair of Stacon pliers for crimping um, wire crimps, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to come back. So it's a bummer because it's about 45 minute ride. But anyway, they'll they'll go in here. This turnbuckle, I don't think camera's focusing. But anyway, this turnbuckle, you put you loosen it up, back it all the way out, put it in there, and then tighten it up and pull. But we've got all of those done. These were very tedious. There's nine on every post. Well, nine on every end. And there's 18 ends. So nine times 18 as I think 162. I think like that anyway got all those done that was a lot of a lot of tedious work involved there of course got the deck rails put up Ben's fixing to sweep that up and that will be a wrap come back put the cable in like I said nine rows everything's ready to go just got to put the cable in crimp it and um Tighten up the turnbuckles. But just a little 45 on there. Clean all that up. But I hate not being able to get done, but it's one of them things. I learn something new every single time I come out. If I ever start repeating these things, I'll have um, experience. I'll uh, make a video when we get done, which is probably gonna be a few days. All right, so we definitely did not get done today. I am gonna go ahead and post this video, mainly because I hadn't posted anything in a while. Um, you know, I hate it. I don't have that crimping tool, but it is what it is. I guess I should have looked at that more thoroughly, but, you know, I was, Ben and I were talking. I don't have the experience like some guys do um, working on job sites and for construction guys, you know, for a year or two, but, I'm getting it now, so I can I can take them on the chin like this from time to time since I still have a full-time job. So, you know, in the heat of the moment, I get a little upset and aggravated. Watch but out, vehicle stopped on shoulder once, ahead. <laughs> once I think about it, once I think about it, you know, it's it's a good learning experience and I'm getting more, I'm, I, I'm getting that experience, that on-job, on-site experience now where some people get it when they're in their 20s and I'm also getting paid, so um, I'll get that tool, get back over there, put that up, it'll look good and I'll be proud of it and I'll have that on my resume and next time I'll know. So that's that. Um, I appreciate all the new subscribers. Jesse, I think it's Jesse or Jess, sorry, Jesse, glad to have you. Hairnet, I know you're on here now. Um, give you something to make fun of me about. Um, but anyway, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot.